Hi, this is Mark Tube speaking. You're watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. Okay, so I'm sure a lot of you are aware by now, but I want to give you my two pence worth that Eddie Hearn has confirmed that the Saudis are indeed looking at the end of the year to stage Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder and Alexander Usyk versus Tyson Fury. So he's confirmed that there are preliminary talks right now and he's going to fly off to Saudi Arabia at some point next week to hold further discussions. So he's confirmed that the rumours are true. That's what they're looking to do on the same card, which really does surprise me, where he estimated around about 400 million to do that. I mean, to put them two fights on the same card, that's like, well, I mean, my first reaction is, do I need to start making plans to sell a kidney for the pay-per-view, right? It's going to be quite high, and rightfully so. That would be a hell of a card, wouldn't it? Now, Malik Scott the trainer of Deontay Wilder, has also confirmed that there has been talks surrounding this particular situation. Tyson Fury, he put out on social media for the first time uh, since he ducked Alexander Usyk, he's actually taken to social media, he's, he's uh, finally remembered his login, that it's not true. He called it BS. Now, out of the three, who are you most likely to not believe? Yeah, we know, and... If any of you out there believe in Tyson Fury, then you're beyond help. After all the things that he's said and done in the past, if you still think that he's a truth teller, then I don't know, that says more about you. But anyway, that said, now, on this particular occasion, Tyson Fury might not be lying. And what I mean by that is the Saudis will want Anthony Joshua to confirm before they move into a Tyson Fury situation. They want to make sure that Anthony Joshua's up for it, get his money right, all that kind of stuff. Reason being is because no Anthony Joshua, no Saudi event. They want Anthony Joshua. That's why maybe they weren't too keen on having Tyson Fury versus Usyk over there because Tyson Fury can't be relied upon. He's not that big a star as far as they're concerned. Anthony Joshua, you get him to sign paper, it's done. Then they'll move into Tyson Fury. And I say that because... Was it Frank? No, no, not Frank. It was uh, either Francis Warren or George Warren said that they've had no talks or anything like that um, about this particular situation. So that leads me to suspect that the Saudis are leaving Tyson Fury until last until they have an agreement in place with Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder for their particular fight, right? So that's probably why Tyson Fury may not actually be lying on this particular occasion. But regardless, if they can get this over the line... That's probably the biggest event that we've ever seen, right? Certainly in my lifetime. Imagine having those two fights on the same card. Even if it's not those two fights, whether it's Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk versus Deontay Wilder on the same card, that is mint. Absolutely mint. Now, clearly this isn't a case of the Saudis looking to make money. I've got... I'm sure they'll claw some kind of money back. Would they make 400 odd million back? I don't know. But it's a tall order. But it is, I think a lot of it is to get eyes and ears on their country, to get people to travel to their country to say, you know what, you can visit here. Okay, things are not what they used to be. We are a country that is happy to host sporting events and things like that. So it's probably more about that than it is actually about making the money. But still... I mean, listen, I don't know what kind of deaverish demands that Tyson will come out with. Probably be astronomical. He'll want to try and make sure that he's the highest paid out of all four of them. You know what he's like. I don't think it's necessarily that he needs the money or necessarily wants the money. It's, it's all about the A side for him. That's more than enough. Okay, but first things first, the Saudis want to make sure that Anthony Joshua is in before they move into a Tyson Fury. So anyway, that is fantastic news. If, of course, they get it all over the line. Um... If they do, mint, right? I think the boxing world will stand still to watch this particular event, no matter which two fights it is. Now, is it a bit of a travesty in some ways to have them on the same card where that's two fights that are headliners? I mean, arguably, but listen, if, if anybody can afford to do it, it'll be the Saudis, right? And listen, I'd rather pay one pay-per-view than a couple. 
That's for sure. Anyway, we'll have to wait and see what happens. I'm sure we'll find out in the coming weeks. Drop your thoughts below. Click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you next video.